the pH scale. This is where it gets a little more complicated and we're going to have logs and things like that. But this is how we use our weak acids and weak base equilibriums. Okay. Used to designate the H plus concentration in most aqueous solutions where H plus is relatively small. So we're talking about hopefully solutions that are less than one molar. Okay. The equation pH equals negative log of concentration of H plus. Remember, lowercase p stands for negative log. So whenever you see that, it always means negative log. pOH is negative log of OH minus. And it turns out that pH plus pOH equals 14. If you have a pH 6.9 and lower, it's considered acidic. 7.0 is neutral. Anything higher than 7.1 is considered basic. Use as many decimal places as there are sig figs in the problem. Just try to keep it usually to the hundreds should suffice. Notice here that we have a pH scale um, with several different examples. It's probably not a bad, bad idea to recognize some of these examples. Blood is slightly basic. Milk is slightly acidic. Um, ammonia is a very basic household cleaner. Vinegar, um, lemon juice, stomach acid is pretty acidic. Um, and one molar of HCl is right down there at zero pH. Now, pH scale can go negative and can go positive when you get your concentrations higher and higher. But for the most part, in real world terms, we're only we're going to be within zero to one the, to fourteen. Okay. The negative base ten logarithm of the hydronium ion becomes the whole number. So if you have like ten to the negative seven. Um, the log of that will be seven, negative 7. And so the whole number will not be significant, only the decimal places after. So just round to the hundreds should be safe. Okay, exercise 6. Again, this is simply just plugging them in and then solving for the concentration of H plus or OH minus. So remember, our concentration of H plus times OH minus equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So we're just simply dividing here. And hopefully you get these answers here. Okay. Notice on letter C, they try to trip you up. They try to give you, you solve for OH minus. So you should look at your H plus concentration. And it's much larger than 1 times 10 to the negative 7. So it is acidic. Okay, exercise 7. Calculate the pH and the pOH for each of the following solutions at 25 degrees Celsius. We do have a video for this, and so I'll kind of walk you all through this. Okay. Letter A. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3 molar of OH minus. Okay. That means we are able to do pOH of this concentration. So pOH is negative log of OH to the negative. So this is letter A. So pOH equals negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 3. A neat trick is if you have 1 times 10 to the whatever, it just becomes the exponent. So that's real neat, a good way to estimate uh, pHs. So 1 times 10 to the negative 3, the ne negative log of that is just 3. So pOH is 3. So then we can do pOH plus pH is 14. And then pH ends up being 11. Okay. For letter B, we have 1 molar. So we can do pH as negative log of 1, which ends up being 0. So the PA, pOH has to be 14. OK, and here are the answers again, now that you didn't already see them. And they're on your notes as well. Okay, here's a little bit of trickier problem, more complex problem, something that you would be expect to see um, on maybe a short answer for the AP exam. The pH of a sample of human blood was measured to be 7.41 at 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the pOH, H plus concentration, and OH minus concentration for this sample. Okay, we know the pH. So the easiest thing we can do first is calculate the pOH. Because pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So plug in 7.41 and our pOH is equal to 
6.59 because 14 minus 7.41 is 6.59. Okay, here's what's a little bit trickier. And I'm going to give you these equations. So you may want to pause it and write these down. But I've, I've inverted these equations so that we can solve for concentration of H+. Plus. The concentration of H+, plus is simply 10 to the negative pH. And OH- minus is simply 10 to the negative pOH. And so I would write these down. It's just reversed of the pH equals negative log of H+. Plus. And so it's a little bit easier way to solve backwards. And so you get those following numbers. So jot down that 10 to the negative pH and 10 to the negative pOH. Those are kind of handy. Again, I kind of cheated. Didn't want to waste time getting the calculator, so I'm going to trust that these are pretty rounded pretty well. Okay, exercise 9 and 10. pH of strong acids. Calculate the pH of 0.1 molar of HNO3 and calculate the pH of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 10 molar of HCl. Okay, the one I think you're going to have trouble with is letter B. And once we go through exercise 10, we'll be able to see the video and talk about why B is actually 7 and not pH of 10 like you originally calculated. Okay. Okay. The first one, very straightforward. Calculate the pH of 0 0.10 molar of HNO3. It's a strong acid. So your molarity of 0 0.10 molar will also equal your molarity of H+. Plus. So you can just take the negative log of that to get the concentration. So pH equals negative log of 0.1. So pH ends up being 1.00. OK, very straightforward. With B, um, it gets a little bit trickier. Because you do the same thing, and you understand that the concentration is the same. So the strong acid, so 1.0 times 10 to the negative 10 should be your molarity of H+. plus. Okay, but here's the deal. Water itself has a molarity of H+, plus more than that. So in other words, this is a trick question because water is the actual acid in here because it has a higher concentration of H+. Plus. So water is going to be your acid, and so you are going to use 1 times 10 to the negative 7th for water, water's H plus concentration. So I'm writing that right here. Water has a concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, so water is the acid, and so your pH will be 7. You should never have an acid um, have a pH less, I mean, greater than seven, because if it's greater than seven, then water is going to be your um, is going to be your acid, and so you'll take the negative log of one times ten to the negative seventh, and you'll get seven. Okay, and you should never have a base that's less than seven. Also, calculate the pH of five point zero times ten to the negative two molar NaOH solution. Okay, it's a strong base, so 5.0 times 10 to the negative 2 molar of NaOH will equal 5.0 times 10 to the negative 2 molar of OH minus. Notice you only have one OH, so they're equal. If you had two OHs, you would multiply it by 2. If you had three, you multiply it by 3. Your pOH will equal the negative log of that, 5.0 times 10 to the negative 2. And you end up getting 1.3. for your pOH, but it asks for your pH. So you've got to subtract that from 14. Sorry, allergies are acting up. So pH is equal to 12.70, exactly like the problem says. Okay, calculating pH of weak acid.